why we don't need to pray. Hey guys, so I want to do a little chat on why we don't need to pray. Uh, basically, because whenever you're in the place that you are, whatever moment that is, or whatever you're wanting to create, or what you're wanting to see or have or experience, it is just created. It's automatically created just by the thought of it, by the wish of it, the desire to have it, to hold it, to experience it. Um, to love or to hate it, whatever that is. And then even when we are just questioning, um, we don't need to do anything as far as praying or anything like that because the minute we have a thought or we're asking something um, and have you thought, like, have you heard your thoughts or your questions? I wonder if, right? That's being created in the moment, right? And so it's coming to you because of your awareness. Your awareness is saying, what if, right? The question of, what is or what if you know and when that happens it's actually automatic it's an automatic um creation of that and so you'll receive the answer if you're open to receive it but if you're not or you're not aware of it and you're not being present then you're not going to receive it you're going to miss it because a minute and i do this myself because i'm aware of my breath i've gotten to a point in my meditations where I have control of my breath and I'm aware of my breath um, on a daily basis where my breath is. And so when I do things, when I go into meditation, um, my breath is a part of that, right? I am, I'm a part of my breath now, right? If that makes sense. So even when I'm just asking a question, it's like I have this, the question goes in to here and then the breath sends it out. Your breath is a part of who you are, and a lot of people don't make that connection because they're not aware of their breath. They're just, uh, they're non-conscious, I'll say. <laughs> they're unconscious um, of their breath and what role the breath plays, right? And so the, the breath helps send it out, right? Whenever you have a question, um, just pay attention to your body and how it feels. And when you have that question, How's your body responding? Your breath sends it out. It goes here and then out with the breath whenever you do that. Because when I was, uh, I call it in training by, by source, learning all these different things and my spirit guides uh, in the meditations, um, not only do when you think one thing, the opposite also thinks itself. So when you are creating and you're in the experience of hate, the love is experiencing and creating itself. So you have both avenues going out because they're the streams of consciousness and you can't have one without the other because you're creating one to the other to experience it, right? And so that's related to itself and then to source and then here, um, which is two consciousness that exists, right? It's not uh, God and devil. <laughs> it's the existence of here and the existence of source, right? Um, because there is no evil or devil one. You know, that's just an illusion to think something is outside of you because that makes you into a victim, um, which doesn't exist, right? Unless you want to play out that role, then you can do that. If that's part of your wanting to experience, then go right ahead. But not to get too much off on, on that topic, um, the breath is the relator of the information. It helps bring about the awareness of it. Um, and so the expression of love, of hate, or question, or whatever... Uh, comes up through the breath and out and sends it. It's like um, it's like the engine to a co to a car um, or um, coal to a train. Uh, it, it's the it's what makes things energized and flow. And so the breath takes and sends that with it. Whenever you have any questions or whenever you have any emotions or any feelings, they come out. So like for instance. It's like the carrier, um, like the pigeon carrier. I'm trying to come up with these experiences for you to understand it from this point of view. So when you're feeling something, your breath is involved. When you're feeling emotions, your breath is involved. And it's like, I feel sad or 
you're breathing that, right? It's breathing you. It's alive. It's a sensation. It's a feeling. It's emotion. It's awareness, right? Of it, what is being created within you that's surfacing so you can bring it up. And so the viewpoint of being in relative to it is creating of itself in its being, its full awareness. And so when you're trying to do something or be something, then that's what's becoming. It's being aware of it, right? And so the viewpoint of your, your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs, all that is, is in view of where you are based on the breath, right? And so the breath is a part viewpoint of where you are on the timeline, and it creates that by the motion and the movement of it uh, forward. So it sends it forward into being, it's expression of awareness through the breath. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you want to set up a session, we can do that as well. Just reach out to me. My email is below as well. All right. Happy journeys.